to make that variable, which is you, powerful, here's something to consider. It's called the four ifs that make life worthwhile. Here's the first one. Life is worthwhile if you learn. You've got to have the information. Uh, without information, our dreams die. We don't have the chance to capitalize on opportunity without the information. So you have to learn. You have to know. It's very important to make life worthwhile. First, you've got to know. We learn first from other people's experiences that come along and teach us, like HBN, like the workshops, like the classes, like the seminars being done around the world. One unique way of learning from other people. But also, you've got to learn from yourself. You know, if you've had a poor week, just sit down and go over that week and say, what mistakes did I make? What did I leave undone that I should have done? Here's a couple of things. If I would have done this, I'm telling you, it would have been a different week. If you'll treat it that serious, uh, you can learn whatever it takes to make your life worthwhile. Next, life is worthwhile if you try. You got to do something uh, with what you've learned. Put it to work. We can share ideas all day long, but they have no power to create an organization. The ideas have no power to build a city, no power to conquer disease, no power to bring health, no power to change people's lives unless the ideas are put to work, unless somebody makes a phone call, unless somebody conducts a meeting, unless somebody talks person to person, unless somebody writes a letter, unless somebody takes action. Ideas are neglected. They gather dust. They serve no purpose. So life is worthwhile, first of all, if you learn, and second, if you try. And if you try and it doesn't work out at first, you simply try again. There's more than one way up the mountain. There's more than one way to solve the problem. Try it again. Next, life is worthwhile if you stay. You just have to hang in there. Life is like seasons. You plant in the spring, but you don't plant one day and reap the harvest the next day. It takes time. Some people plant in the spring and they leave in the summer. The weather's a little too hot. The summer's a little too long. You know, the bugs are a little too ferocious. The weeds are everywhere. But you have to learn not only to plant in the spring, but to stay through the summer. It takes time for someone to change. It takes time for someone to comprehend. So you have to have the patience to stay in the field until finally the harvest comes. And you've got to have that kind of patience with yourself. Right? You can't learn it overnight. You can't accomplish it overnight. But just as sure as the sun keeps rising and the seasons keep changing, uh, your life can take on new dimensions of opportunity if you stay. Uh, you've got to stay until the game is finished. You know, what if the team is behind and they finally decide, hey, we're not going to win this game, so we're out of here. And they leave the field or they leave the court. See, we would run them out of town. If you've signed up to play the game, at least stay until that game is over. You don't have to play another game, but if you're signed up for this one, stay until it's finished. So learn to stay. Learn to hang in there through the dark times, through the tough times. Learning how to stay, that's part of being a leader. That's part of you being the variable. While others leave, you stay. While others have such a short list uh, they say there's not that many reasons to stay. They leave, you stay. Uh, for those who give up at the least little sign of difficulty, but you stay. That's what will make the difference in your income versus everyone else's. Your ability to stay and see it through. Stay until your organization catches momentum. Uh, stay until you've mastered the skill of doing the meetings, doing the training. Stay long enough until you're good at sharing opportunities, sharing story, sharing testimonials, helping other people change their lives. Just hang in there. Your harvest will surely come. So life is worthwhile if you learn. It's worthwhile if you try. It's worthwhile if you stay. Here's the last one. Life is worthwhile if you share. You got to pass along what you know. Uh, don't keep bottled up the good ideas that have come your way. Uh, my job is to get these notes into your notebook then it's your job to get those notes into someone else's notebook. Pass along the ideas. It'll help the country. It'll help the community. It'll help our industry. It'll help distributors all around the world. It'll help the distributors you're next to and those of so far away you cannot see if you will share. Unique thing about sharing. If you share, you create room for more to replace what you've shared. 
if a glass is full, if this cup is full, can you put any more in it? And the answer is yes, if you pour some out. So if you pour some out, now you've got room to expect some more. So if you share what you've got, that attitude of sharing, that attitude of passing it along, there's plenty more where it came from for you to share. But if you start sharing by some miracle process, life opens up the windows, opens up the channels, and you'll start receiving even more if you share what you've got. That's why I'm here, uh, for a self-interest reason, because if I share, sure enough, more ideas will flow. If I share with you what I've got, sure enough, I'll open up a place in my consciousness and in my life for more to be poured out upon my life. And so that's why I want to share. Yes, I do wish to help you. Yes, I do wish to lend a hand. I wish to inspire you. I wish to give you ideas that you can at least check them out and see if they might not work for you. But that's not the only reason. It's a self-interest reason because it says if you give, it isn't gone. If you give, it's invested. And sure enough, from sometimes strange sources, it comes back to you in ways that you never thought of if you develop this idea of sharing. So the variable can be you if you learn these four ifs that make life worthwhile.